We might not get to do a lot of exploring of new places these days, but that doesn't mean that our exploring has to stop. There is plenty to find in our own backyards. And the first stop in my backyard is going to be a live oak tree. I thought with today being the 50th anniversary of Earth Day, that what better place to start than with the beautiful live oak trees that our area is known for. And one of the reasons why our area is known for these gorgeous trees is the reason why our area was settled in the first place. These trees were very instrumental in the shipbuilding in the 17 and 1800s. And the reason for that is the large curved limbs. Let's see if I can get some up there. They have these natural curves in their limbs. And a really good example is the live oak that is down by the kayak racks of Delegal. Um, you can really see some of the natural curvature of limbs in that live oak tree. And you'll notice that um, if you take a look, it might actually look kind of like the sides of ships to you. And that is because these trees were so instrumental. The wood is very strong, but also because it already came in kind of the perfect curves for shipbuilding, um, these trees were really, really prized and valuable in the early days of settlement in our area. Now, why is it called a live oak tree, you might be wondering, and it's because it appears to be alive all year long, which is a little different than some of the other oaks and deciduous trees. Um, most of those trees shed their leaves in the, in the fall and early winter, and they look bare during the winter and then start to get their green leaves again now. But the live oak tree is a little bit different, and it keeps its green leaves until about early March in our area. And since we've been home recently, you might have noticed that sometimes it looked like it was was raining leaves and that's our live oak tree shedding last year's leaves and, and the new growth coming on. It's kind of like when you were little and your baby teeth wouldn't fall out until the new grown-up teeth were ready to come in. That's kind of how our live oak tree works and it doesn't shed last year's leaves until the new green leaves are already starting to come on and so that way it never looks um, dead. It always looks alive. Now to be able to withstand our summertime temperatures of almost 100 degrees sometimes, as well as the winter temperatures that can be below freezing, the leaves of the live oak tree have to be pretty special. And so you'll notice they are a little bit thicker and waxier than some of your normal oak leaves. And that's to be able to help withstand those temperature differences as well as be able to, you know, do their primary focus, uh, which is to take in carbon dioxide and um, make food for the tree and then put out uh, oxygen, which is, you know, one of the reasons why we really like, really like having trees around is because um, they put out that oxygen for us. Um, but what's really neat about these nice thick leaves is when they fall, they make a nice duff layer of um, leaves around the, the base of the tree and the soils in our area tend to be pretty sandy which means that water will percolate through very quickly and that can be problematic for other plants as well as our live oak tree here and with the live oak leaves being a little bit thicker um, it takes them a little while longer to decompose and that helps them to catch water and hold water in that nice duff layer and allow plants a little bit more of an opportunity to soak up rain water after it rains instead of having to soak it up immediately after a, after a rain and wait for the next one. Uh, the water that's kind of held in this duff layer of these thicker leaves that are not decomposing makes it easier for the plants to be able to um, kind of have a time delayed uh, ability to soak up water and um, use that for, for their growth. And so the live oak tree is really neat for a lot of different reasons, um, historical and um, ecological reasons. And so hopefully you'll think a little bit differently about your live oak next time you see one.